All right, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how I made uh, Don't Hit Me Right Now. So I started with this sample. It's like the main part of the beat. Um, it did not sound like that to begin with. So what I did is I reversed it. So this is the reverse version, and I, um, I sped it up a bunch. I think it was originally at like 90 BPM, and this song's at 140. Um, so this is how it originally sounded. Just let me take the processing off. Very different. But you, I also did use that part of it. I just used it at the end as the outro just to change up. So this is the original sample. Well, besides, you know, it being at a different BPM. And then I reversed it. Sounds crazy. Retro color, EQ, took out the low end. Ozone imager made it wide. This is what retro color is doing. Vinyl crackle, pretty high. A little bit of wobble, a little bit of distortion, reverb, you know, the, the normal stuff. Vinyl crackle goes on forever. And then the next thing I added, um, I really like working with vocals like as part of the beat. And uh, so I found this vocal, which was also at 90 BPM, and I sped it up. And I like, as you can see here, I, I uh, stretched it out a bit so it was on, you know, proper timing and stuff. So this is what this vocal sounds like. super fire and I uh, widened it a bunch added reverb and I took out like all of the high end and the high mids so it's just like the mids to lows as you can see here and with that sample It just sounds crazy. Yeah, I did a little, a different little chop here with it. Yeah, super dope. And then uh, that's for the hook. And then for the verse, it uh, I reversed it, I believe, yeah. So it's like rising and sounds like spooky as shit. Yeah, it sounds super wild. Okay, so that's like the melody of the beat. And then uh, drums. So these drums are pretty, uh, pretty simple, as I like to keep my drums for the most part. Some uh, hi-hats open hat, second hi-hat, clap, snare, kick, percussion. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, simple two-step hi-hat pattern with the velocity changing. Every second hit, the velocity is like way lower just so it gives it a little more of a bounce. I do that with a lot of my beats just so the hi-hats aren't annoying as fuck. <laughs> and I purposely kept these drums like pretty loud in the mix just because I wanted it to hit like if you can hear it compared to the the uh, music of it. Like the drums are pretty fucking loud. And then last thing. 808 um i think i no i don't think i stuck to the kick pattern i think it's its own pattern but here's the pattern Yeah, 
It's a fucking nasty sounding 808. And it's funny, I actually think like a few days before I finished this song, I actually went back and completely changed the 808. And I'm so glad I did. Because I had it done for a minute and then I went back and changed it and it sounded so much better. Um, but yeah, that's the whole beat. Like, it sounds like a lot more than it is, honestly. Like, it's it's pretty simple. And then, of course, like a little riser in my tag. And, uh, yeah, go stream this shit. Watch the video. Got my phone on, but it's always on that airplane mode. Need that peace of mind that I can stop you when I say so. You can't come for me. Been off grid so much, I stay low. I just need my peace. I see devils with the head. Got my phone on, but it's... That shit's crazy. Go stream that shit. Watch the video. Peace out. Love you guys. New songs every week.